Hello everyone, this is Raj Mahathu. With my last few videos, I have shown you the way to include this login, Facebook login button to your application using Titanium Alloy. And then I have described you the way to get login to your application uh, to Facebook using this is from your application. And continuing with that, today I am going to show you the way to click publish anything on your Facebook account from your application from this application so last time I guess I was done some mistake here to define the event listener for logout so I am correcting it here now so that's it now to share something on Facebook so let's add a button here on click of this button I will share a text message on my Facebook account so but before that I need to get logged into my Facebook so let's go to the view where I am going to add a button custom button so for that so this button not a button bar and going to add some properties of this like if id share button then giving some coordinates for its dimension like width giving 100 then sorry height giving 60 then the top position let's say giving it 200 and the foremost thing is the text that will get appeared on the screen so this is title which is share that's it now on click of this button I need to do something which will share some text on my Facebook account so for that let's add a on click event associated with this button so I'm going to define it here on click let's say share message now define I'm going to define the function here function to share message that was share message sorry so which will contain the code that will responsible for the share on Facebook now uh, the Facebook I need to call that Facebook module which have inbuilt function called request with graph path this is and then need to define some parameter for this function so as I want to post the text message on my own wall so for that need to give a text like me feed then say the message that I want to share so let's say hi I'm get shared from the 
app that's it now need to define the process like it is posting so it is post method then the callback function which will be called once we successfully shared the message on the facebook so this is that function so here i am defining the alert so let's say on success so if event get successed then show me the method alert saying shared now going to save it and run it on the simulator so what it will do so once we get logged into the application then on click of the share button it will call this associated on click event where the facebook module fb will be called for its request with graph method which will generally pass this message on my wall for which account that i have logged into this through this application and then on success of this sharing it will show me the alert that it gets shared so that's it only so let's see it on the simulator so here my two button but if i click it on here right now so it will not share anything so before that we need to get logged in so i am going to log in to the facebook account so it is i get logged in then i am clicking going to click here so that i can share the message so here you can see that the message get shared now let's check it on the browser like we need to go to the facebook then the account that i have made the password oops it seems that i forgot the password credential for the for my account Okay, let's try again. So that is that is seventeen. Here it is. So I'm going to log in. So here you can find out that this is my text that I currently shared on using that app. So here, hi, I'm get shared from the app. So let's share it again. So I'm going to delete this, and we'll check it again by sharing the same message from my app. So let's say I'm sharing it again. So it should be the alert that it gets shared successfully. So coming back to the browser, let's refresh the page. So here you can see that last 13 second ago, I have shared the message that I have and get shared from here. So this is it. So using this, following this method, following the way this the process that I have described here we can share the text or we can share the picture also 
by slightly modifying this graph path and this method to facebook account using our application from our application and then again we if we want to get want to log out so here you say that log out done now here if i want to share it again so it will hopefully it will not work because i didn't get logged in to the facebook which will allow me to share share something on my facebook wall so this is it thanks